Truck driver Linda. Truck driver Paul is. Up front, in my <laughs> usual spot. <laughs> We've been a little bit of everywhere, like warm weather, South Carolina, cold weather, cool weather, Colorado, and Texas, New Mexico. About to go into some snow weather. We haven't hit Wyoming yet, but we're about to hit it because we're going home. We're in Salt Lake City, but we're headed home. In fact, we'll be home not long after this video is posted. So we're super excited about that. All right, what are we gonna make? We're gonna make some slow cooker chicken and dumplings. We have a subscriber, C. Milliman, and she has made mention of her one pot. So I don't actually have a one pot. I think I call it a one pot a lot, but I have a aroma um, rice cooker that's also a slow cooker. So we're gonna use the slow cooker today. I thought it was something that she could make. I'm gonna add a little extra chicken to mine because I got it on sale. So I just need to go ahead and cook it all up. It's like two pounds. One pound though is more than enough. So we're just gonna, we're gonna jump in. I wanna get this in the slow cooker. So let's get y'all. All right, so this is, it's two stalks of celery that I've diced up and I've reserved the leaves. You're gonna want the leaves. So the celery, you're gonna dump that in there. It's about a cup and about a cup of sliced up carrots. Put that in there. I have, it, it's actually two pounds of chicken tenders. Um, so it's gonna be a very chickeny chicken and dumplings. So I'm just gonna set this aside. And I've got a bowl. And in this bowl, I'm gonna add one can. It's a like a 10 ounce can, 10 and a half ounce can. Cream of chicken soup. One can of cream of celery soup. Mix all that up. I've got one teaspoon of poultry seasoning, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground black pepper. All right. And we're gonna dump that right on top of the chicken. All right, and then I'm gonna add two cups of chicken broth. That's all we're gonna add. Okay, and we're gonna put it in our slow cooker and you're gonna cook it, the total's gonna be five, but you're gonna cook it four hours and then we're gonna add the dumplings. So I'm gonna let it cook four hours and then we'll come back and check it. All ready to check this. I'm just gonna pull one out and give it a quick little ooh, check. Oh yeah, I think they're done. I, I, 165 is the magic number, um, but you know, I'm just gonna eyeball it. And I'm gonna say they're done. So I'm actually gonna shred them where they look like this and put them back in the pot. So that's kind of all I'm gonna do with those. I'm just doing a kind of a rough, shredding because I, I really do want big chunks of chicken and then I'm gonna add them back into my slow cooker that's it for the chicken next you need a can of biscuits you want buttermilk or home style what you don't want is the flaky don't get the, the layered biscuits so buttermilk is what I'm using. So get you a bit, couple of biscuits. I'm gonna do a couple at a time. And you wanna just flatten them a little bit. Let's see if I can show y'all how thin I've gotten them. Can you see how thin they are? So I've gone from this to this. So you want them kind of thin. And then you just want to 
like cut them in strips. Maybe about like that. Okay, I'm gonna actually stick those in this bowl and move on to the next one. And then if you don't want them in the strips, you can cut the strips in half, or you can do it just to give it like different sizes, you know. All right, and keep doing that until you've done all eight biscuits. All right, all right. So then you're just gonna take your strips as you can because before this cools down too much you do want to get it back in the um, slow cooker so kind of separate and add okay once that's all done the celery leaves that you chopped up and saved we're gonna add those now and if you want, you can save some or chop up some more to garnish it with. Add those and then put it back in your slow cooker. Owie, that's hot. So now that that's back in there, at least an hour, before you even open it to check it, give it at least an hour. I'm going to check mine in an hour to an hour and a half and see how the dough is doing. y'all so um i checked it at an hour gave it a good stir made sure the biscuits were broke up a little bit so now let me just get it out here it's been so the first hour that it was still a little too doughy for me so i've cooked it another 45 minutes all right so let's see what we've got Oh my goodness, doesn't that look good? Okay, so. It's hot. It's really hot. Ooh. Mm. That's actually really good. Alright. Yeah, it's done. So I'm gonna get it all served up and then we'll get Paul back here and we'll see what he thinks of it. All right, y'all. Oh. Oh, look at Aaron. Oh. It turned out so great. Oh my God. I'll spill it. So I just garnished it with some celery leaves. If you could just somehow see all the mounts. It's got some snow up there and it's awesome looking. Oh, do you want me to switch yeah. the camera? Just, yeah, there you go. What a view through our office window. Yeah, yeah, we do have a good view for eating today. Man. Mm, dumplings, mm. chicken and dumplings. The classic. That's awesome. My mama used to spend all day making chicken and dumplings. It's so good. Mm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Camera's like, Bouncing around, they're yeah. loading us right now. <laughs> That's our load home. We actually haven't been home home since April, just to be home. Mm -hmm. When we were home in July, it was we were home long enough to get on an airplane, really. That was it. We didn't really get any time at home. So, Man, this is good. Our grandkids have been calling all day, when are you gonna be home? Now, we're almost loaded. Mm. All right, y'all. She did a wonderful job. Thank you. Nice accepted. We're going home. Yeah, we're on our home side. If y'all don't see a video Tuesday, it's because we're at home. And I just didn't get one done. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. T. Milliman. If you make it, let us know. If you do it in your one pot and you do it under the pressure cooker, let me know. I've been... I'm wishing I would have bought one when I got after I got the aroma, but... I didn't. Gotta let us know when you do it so we can come and eat it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll see you next week.